see. I'm nervous. What have you cooked up for us this month? Well, I got I've I've only got a couple of things because honestly I was going to read the, the dead guy in the bank. Oh, one also. sorry, I stole it. That's okay. That's <laughs> My totally bad. fine. Okay. But this first one, it's an article from Newsweek. This was sent in by Coven member Corey M and Thank this you, describes an absolute dream of mine that I did not know I had until now. Oh no. <laughs> What okay. dead thing? The glee well, on your face. I can't <laughs> wait. <laughs> so the title is Human Jawbone Found Embedded into Tile by Couple Renovating Bathroom. There's fear coming from the basement. There's fear coming from the tile in your new bathroom. <laughs> what? A family renovating their bathroom had been left shocked to discover what experts suspect is a section of human jawbone in one of the new tiles that had been installed, like on their floor. In the tile? Yep. Like, someone ordered this tile. Yep. And people are installing it and are like, oops, there's a jawbone stuck in this in this tile? Not even. I'm going to get to it. It's, it's bizarre. I so don't get it. In a Reddit post shared under the handle uh, KittyPadelli75, a man who asked not to be named and would only disclose that he's based in Europe, so this happened somewhere in Europe, okay. showed an image of what he suspects is a mandible, so like your your jo- like your bottom yeah. jawbone, mm-hmm. found embedded in the travertine stone floor of his parents' new bathroom. So travertine is a type of... Okay, s- that rock. I assume will be like applicable to how this fucking happened. So whoever yep. installed this tile just didn't notice that there was a human jaw? No, and there's a picture on the drive, which will be on the blog, oh, so gosh, you can I'm see it. What? But I'm going to do it anyway. <laughs> that is shocking. Yeah. So you recognize that, like, kind of tile. Like, it's a b- common bathroom floor tile looking material. Yeah. Ah. But I would know that that's pretty obviously teeth. Well, I mean, yeah, yes, but the. Now that you know what it is that you're looking at, I don't know if you would st- 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 like identify that necessarily. But let's just keep reading. Um. So this anonymous man told Newsweek, quote, I spotted the mandible because I'm a dentist and it looked <gasps> very familiar. It's not so much the teeth, but the shape of the arch. He mm. added, at first, I thought it was a fossil of a random animal. Then with a closer look, I realized that was very familiar and it looked human. I wouldn't necessarily clock that it was human, but it, to me, it looks like a jaw. Yeah. Yeah. But That's I think wild. we are also only seeing the picture where it's just that. I think sure. in the like mosaic of the rest of this stone. Maybe. maybe there's maybe. lots of patterns and, you know. Maybe. So the dentist said that it was a little unnerving, that you discovery. <laughs> He said, quote, I was unsettled at first, but also I was in disbelief that it could be human. I needed a specialist's help. This guy, this is the most, I know because it's your segment, you always pick the most Lucy coded shit. (laughs) But like, (laughs) this guy is like, yeah, it was a little unsettling, but I was so fucking curious. Now I just have to like know everything about that. So Lucy. Well, if he's a, he's a dentist. Yeah. Yeah. He's a dentist. This Doctor. directly pertains to his interests and his skill set. Uh, yep. What a gift. And he saw his parents are like, go check out our new bathroom. And he goes in, maybe like taking a shit on the toilet and just looking at the floor and <sighs> like, oh. Can you that imagine looks weird. having to perform in <laughs> perform? front of a, a deceased stranger's <laughs> just jaw right by the toilet? I would fucking love it. Yeah, you that's would. why I'm saying I didn't know that I had this desire until I found this story. Well, next wow. time you redo your bathroom, go for travertine. Yeah, because I'm, you might get a jawbone. You might. You never. Sli- travertine's like a box of chocolates. Oh my god! <laughs> I'm gonna send this to the architect we're working with for the new house. Please do. Because, Please do. Yeah. Get me some human remains. This is the look we're going for. (laughs) (laughs) Thank you. Dead human remains. No! Okay, so he was like, I need the help of an expert. So that's what led him to share the discovery on Reddit. From there, the poster was able to source the expertise of John Hawks, a professor of anthropology at the University of Wisconsin-Madison. Gold muskies. 
<laughs> he regularly <laughs> writes about paleoanthropology, the study of human evolution through fossil and archaeological records. So okay, that he's applies. He's going to know what he's talking about. Yeah. The dentist discovered through his parents that the travertine was sourced from Turkey. A closer inspection of some of the other tiles revealed more potential fossils, though nothing as significant as this potential human mandible. Mm. So travertine is a type of limestone no known to form around natural springs. The mm. water that emerges from this source can often carry with it high levels of dissolved calcium carbonate, which forms rocks when the water evaporates or cools. Okay. So basically... The, the, where they source this rock from, it's like really put high potential for fo preserved fossils. Wow. Okay. In a post written on his blog, johnhawks.net. <laughs> Creed thoughts. Creed thoughts. <laughs> <laughs> dot, doc. Dot, doc. Hawks said that it is, a, it is common uh, for fossils of dead animals, including humans, to form within travertine. Mm. He adds that it's not necessarily a surprise for one to turn up in a bathroom tile like this because the, those kinds of tiles aren't, like, closely inspected. Wow. <laughs> wow. That's like, oh. <laughs> I'm just making a mental note to never use travertine. This yeah. is Send wild. it all to Lucy. Said yeah, Lucy's <laughs> entire house floor to ceiling is about to be fucking travertine. It's going to be Although, shocking. Just walking around with a say, microscope. I will say, this reminds me, There's, there's so I play Dungeons, Dungeons and Dragons because I'm a yeah, big old nerd. Um, <laughs> and I bought a gift for a friend of mine who plays. There's a company called Artisan Dice in mm -hmm. uh, Texas, and they make, they, they take old, um, like people who've donated their bodies and skeletons to science. Mm -hmm. And then when those skeletons are retired, they take them and turn them into dice. Cool. And they're just the coolest freaking thing. <laughs> I want to be turned into dice. Right? So this is different, but I was given some dice and there's like fake moss and bones in it. Mm -hmm. Ooh, oh, I've seen those. Those are I gorgeous. Those, I have those pinned on Etsy. Mm. They're very cool. <laughs> well, I got So them. pretty. Amazing. Yeah, they're beautiful. Oh Fuck my gosh. Yeah. Oh, um, travertine and bone dice. There we seriously. go. Seriously. <laughs> yeah. It turned into dice. That'd be cool. That'd be sick. Um, okay. So Hawks says, continues in his blog post, quarries, quarries rough cut travertine and other decorative stone into large panels, doing basic quality checks for gaps and large defects on the rough stone before polishing it. Small defects and inclusions are the reason why people want this travertine in the first place, so they don't merit special attention. Okay. So you want these little inclusions in there. Yeah. Because that's they're the look. usually that's the style. not a human jawbone. <laughs> usually. <laughs> Hawks added that it is unlikely anyone buying travertine would see the panels until they were actually installed. So Okay. Um, he says, quote, what this means is that there may be a lot more homonym. So that's a type of primate directly ancestral to humans. So uh, there might be lots more homonym bones in people's floors and showers. <laughs> Whoa. He continues cool. to say, most will be oh. hard to recognize because random cross sections of homonym bones are tough to make out from other kinds of fossils without a lot of training, right. which is why this dentist was like, that looks like a human mandible. Right. Certainly, somebody has more pieces of this mandible. If you take another look at your shower wall and suspect an ancient human is looking back at you, it no. might actually be one. No, 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 no. Because I definitely have one of those brains that like sees faces in everything. That's just human evolution. I know, but... Yeah. I, you can't say something like that to me. <laughs> no, just know that if you have a travertine shower, you're just showering in the Paris catacombs, basically. Yes. Is, yeah. Isn't that cool? I don't have a drop of travertine in my house, thank God. But now I, I never, never will. will. No. <laughs> mm -hmm. You know what materials to avoid. Well, yeah. and it's also all about to be sold out because you're going to buy it all. It's true. True. For your there's, travertine there's about to be house. A global shortage of travertine. <laughs> yeah. Just a house built of travertine. <laughs> My yard is just tile. <laughs> you never have to mow. No. I just have to swiffer. Just be I... careful in the winter. That ice on that travertine. Mm -mm. <laughs> and like rain. Oh, oh God. And like teeth. <laughs> yeah. 
I, I better have a lot of fossils to really get it kind of grippy. Yeah. We need the friction. <laughs> yeah. For okay. sure. So in this instance, while the dentist said his parents did express concern, quote, about having a paleoarchaeologist team destroying their home, they are planning on handing the tile over to an expert for further study. Okay. They're relinquishing the tile. Okay. Having been told that the mandible could potentially be anywhere from 100,000 to a million years old. Oh, my God. And represents the remnants of, quote, a homo erectus or similar who fell into a hot spring and died. The man has high hopes for what the experts might discover. Wow. So That's the post- actually really cool. Yeah. So the poster says, quote, one of the anthropologists told me it's like finding the Mona Lisa. You can't sell it. You have to put it in a museum. That's unbelievable. I didn't, I guess I didn't realize how old these remains are. Yeah. Well, it's essentially foss- fossilized. It's yeah. in the rock. The yeah. rock formed around it. And then they they dug up the rock and cut it into tile. And it, they just happened to slice this in half. <laughs> that means the rest of this person's body is in other tile. <laughs> Maybe I like why. your fucking giggles Stop <laughs> it I will say the fact that it's fossilized And not some poor person in a tile factory right, Who just ended right. up in a tile I, I, Now it's cool I'm on I board feel Lucy. better about it Okay but, yeah. I can see why you were hesitant To be as enthusiastic about it Yeah before. it was a little <laughs> Sketchy I, yeah, I don't Yeah, I don't know why in my brain I clocked it as like Like you said Kat like someone fell into this thing and then decay like i the, assume the tile furnace right <laughs> yeah then this was like old but not like a hundred thousand to a million years like full-blown fossil like hominid and not just human right mm-hmm. yeah put it next to the rat hole in the museum seriously yeah. Yeah. we need museums for strange things embedded in <laughs> stone and concrete the museum of decorative strange tile the museum <laughs> of strange holes <laughs> Okay, we're Weird opening holes. that. Weird holes. TM, TM, TM. Well, I sure hope you liked that clip. If you did like that clip, make sure you are subscribing to our YouTube channel, leaving us a nice review, and joining us on Patreon for even more video content, audio content, salacious content all around. Come join us. Treat yourself.